we're going to make this mark right here. And again, this wood has gotten a little damp since we got out here, but you see that is marking one foot. And as we back up here, I just want to give you some context of where this is. Brand Spring Park is over here to my right. Milton Frank Stadium would be just past this tree line that you see right behind me. And again, this is the middle of the road on 15th Avenue and 1st Street. As we said, that's the that is right here the foot mark and it's about three inches right here on this street alone. But we're also going to take a walk over here just again to show you. You see that low shoulder sign. So that kind of gives you some context of what the road's like. I am literally stepping off the road right now, taking one step. Look at that already past that foot mark and as you can see so easy for tires to leave the road and come over here so your best bet is just stay off those roads hey steven michelle we're actually out here on brownsboro road you can see behind me we're on the scene of a single car wreck what madison county sheriff's office just told me is there was a single car that was driving this way on brownsboro road that driver malfunctioned in his car and it did hit the side of the bridge this road right now is impassable fortunately that driver is okay. Now, as we were taking 72 East to Brownsboro Road, there was a part where you couldn't get through. Madison County Sheriff's, uh, Sheriff's deputies have the road blocked off at Wall Road, so they are having people take a detour. Now, additionally, as we were getting out here, you know, we just met you in Huntsville. We drove out here to Madison County. I'll tell you what, it's really dark out there. Of course, there's still a lot of water on those roads, and as we said, the turnaround don't drown rule. If you see those barricades, just Please turn around if you're seeing any standing water. Don't try to drive through it. But again, a lot of places, they're not well lit. And as you can see, the sun is just not rising this morning. So we are begging you, if you don't have somewhere to go, just stay put. And if you do, just make sure that you are turning those lights on and you're driving slowly and cautiously. And again, out here on the scene of an accident, this road at Brownsboro Road in Madison County is impassable at this time. We're live in Madison County, Courtney Crown, WHNT. News 19. We're out here on 72 eastbound in Madison County. Look behind me, a power line snapped in half, a power pole rather. You can see right here, crews were just working on this one right here. They had the chainsaws out working to stabilize those lines that as you can see where that pole did snap in half. And take a look right now. We're going to walk over this way because we've got more to show you. Power lines on the roadways. And again, we would be remiss if we didn't talk about how important it is that you do not come in contact with these power lines no matter what just go ahead and call crews that can come out and help with this if you're seeing anything like this in your neighborhoods or your communities where you live but take a look over here crews have moved over to this power pole right here it snapped in half you can see it right laying there in the water the wood literally snapped so they're just getting ready to get those those power saws right there to work on it now they've just gotten those started up right now. We can take a live look and see them working on that right now. But this is the scene out here on 72 eastbound. So if you need to take this on your commute to work or to take the kids to school or wherever you need to go today, right now it is impassable. So they have it marked off. They're not letting anybody get through here. 72 westbound is open, but they are working on these power lines right now. So we're going to be out here bringing you the latest. You can count on WHNT News 19 to stick with you through these storms. We're live in Madison County. Courtney Crown, WHNT News 19.